Get the shot, Mike. Hey, Steph, hold on. He got him. He got him. This is the first time I've seen a crocodile catching a snake. Look at that. He bit him right in half. He snapped him. These boys are the most unconventional of wildlife guides. Their television show, Mad Mike and Mark, screens on Animal Planet around the world, from Africa to Asia and Europe. I, I thought the hippos were dangerous. Oh, look at them grooming each other. That's social grooming. That's really important with communal guys. Mike and Mark's crazy exploits with the beasts and birds of the wild have hooked millions of younger viewers. And often their parents, nothing's too close, too personal, or too dumb. Dump, dump. Clean and bright. It's the Laurel and Hardy show of the bush. It's the Jeff and Matt show. We are two characters. The task for today, to the top of that peak. Mike's the brawn, Mark's the brain. Together they give the viewers a somewhat offbeat wildlife experience. But behind the banter is years of experience and knowledge. Seven years ago, Mark came up with a concept of creating a wildlife series involving game ranges with different specialities. The Australian company Beyond 2000 loved the idea, set about testing different ranges in front of the camera. To save time, Mike and Mark were filmed together. The effect, explosive. Yeah, you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Yeah. And then you back yourself. Yeah, Here comes the buffalo. The buffalo. Okay, well then let's quickly wait, 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 hold on. Stay there, stay there. Stay Mike, there. what are you doing? Just stay there. Okay. The buffalo are coming down to drink in their hundreds. This was a magic partnership. By the time a second series was underway, they were playing a very active role. To film some of their extraordinary footage, the team will try anything. Cameras in disguise and carcasses of wildebeest. He's pulled the microphone, look. Cameras dangling from hot air balloons. Cameras from Land Rovers. And a camera operator like Mike Yeltsin, who doesn't run when the going gets tough. There's one golden rule, and that's the no-touch policy. What you've got to do is work out that individual that you're spending time with. You've got to work out that inner invisible space barrier. And then you've got to be able to push the limit and read the signals and signs. One of their most memorable experiences was in Kenya. Mark had heard about a somewhat friendly cheetah and his habit of sitting on car bonnets. They drove around for two days trying to spot him. Out of the blue, the cheetah arrived with three cubs. Not only did she jump on the bonnet, she, she then went in on the roof and then finally the cubs went into the back of the car, so we had like these passengers, cheetah passengers. Jesus, it's starting to nip my legs. Hey, just stop moving, Mark. Can you stop moving? It's nipping my leg. What are you talking Fine, about? Fine, it's not nipping, it's smelling. Then walked across my lap, felt very comfortable, and I think entered our inner space, and with the karma, the right karma that we showed, the animal felt completely relaxed, licked Mark's forehead, which was is indescribable. The only word I can think about it was a spiritual experience. It is one of the highlights of my wildlife career. But it moved into our inner space. It wasn't the other way around. Come, Mark, it's, it's time to go. There was an instance where Mike and I crept into big herds of elephants. There were hundreds of elephants and wind changed and they changed direction and the next minute we were completely surrounded and you could class that as a reckless moment. It's a siege. Mike and Mark are surrounded. Yet another elephant herd has moved in and cut off their escape. I took my lucky cap, I hung it on one bush, we hid behind another and those elephants picked up the scent. She's looking for us. Trashed that bush, trashed, killed the cap. They were very happy the cap was dead. And then left us quite comfortably behind another bush. And that's how we walked out of that one. Pounding heart. I didn't feel comfortable on that one. But Mad Mike Penman and Mark Tennant don't make mistakes too often. As they and their team pursue that ultimate close-up. The lion is playing with the buffalo now. This is their strategy. 
There's another line. Look, look, it's right next to the buffalo. It's all about living in the moment for the moment with little thought about the danger. Well, a little bit. Look there. The lion is jumping on the back. What is the most dangerous animal in your book? That's easy. It's Mike. <laughs> No, the most dangerous animal is the mosquito, the monophylis female, you know. She kills more people, that tiny little beast, than any other wild animal in Africa. <laughs>